Over 8 months ago, I talked about this channel that creates awful, awful videos that was showing sexually suggestive content, violence and general brain rotting sludge while knowing that the main audience who watches this stuff is actually young children. But since then, I heard rumors that this content creator was hoping to change, hoping to create better content, more suitable towards children, to leave all of these shady tactics behind and to actually create something good for the world. Has this creator had a change of heart? Is this the redemption arc that we've been all waiting for? Is this going to be a wonderful story or just a big disappointment? That is what I want to explore in this video. So stay with me on this story of the plush universe. Now, just to remind you of why this channel was so controversial and why so many other YouTubers talked about this channel with just pure rage, we have to start from the beginning. At that time, Plush Universe was making abominations like these. Why are you racing? Why? What the heck? Why do I look like that? Oh my gosh! That's a color, it's gonna be black! No, it's not, it's gonna be purple! What? Jesus Christ! And these videos lasted for 15, 20, 25 minutes at a time of this cocaine driven content exactly like that throughout the whole goddamn video. Effectively, videos featuring plushy characters from Rainbow Friends and Alphabet Lore reacting to other TikToks done in a way that completely melts your brain. And just to prove a point, enjoy some more. What is that? Oh my gosh, baby blue, you're huge! It's okay because I'll fix you up! Let's get this out of here, it's okay, don't worry about Let's it! Let's clean you up! We'll need that pizza out of there, buddy! And we'll need that meat out of there! And the fries! And the hamburger! That's right. But despite these videos giving you a vibe of drinking 20 Red Bulls in a short amount of time, this wasn't actually the controversial part. Because you see, these videos, they used tactics which were actually quite disturbing. For example, they were using sexually suggestive thumbnails on all of their videos. I mean, just look at that. Do you see a pattern in those thumbnails? They're all clearly sexually suggestive, featuring characters in skimpy clothing in the middle of a dance and another character looking at them this way with a tongue out. It's really dodgy. And when you actually went into those, you could see that those thumbnails was the reason why people clicked. It's exactly what they wanted to watch, as this was the most replayed part in all of their videos. In every single video, it was exactly the same thing. And clearly, it was exactly what the audience wanted to watch. But going back to the controversy bingo, the channel was showing LGBT unfriendly content to young children, with one video showing that the character Green is banned from Rainbow Friends for cross-dressing. Be like that, dude, this is so rude. Oh my gosh, you are so sus. You're kicked from the Rainbow Friends screen, that's enough. Just clearly a great message to show to those kids. He used great and very ethical tactics like guilt tripping and manipulating the viewers into subscribing and watching more. An audience who was mainly young children. Oh my gosh, I hate dancing! <laughs> I hate dancing, Red. Stop making me do this! Blue, I'm gonna make you dance until you hit 100,000 subscribers! Guys, please subscribe! Which effectively is saying, subscriber, I'm gonna torture your favorite character with something that he clearly doesn't want to do. And you're the only one who can stop it. And talking about torture, how about children enjoying their favorite character be waterboarded? The water down. Having their parts cut off. No, 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 not die, not die. Oh. Or just straight up begging for mercy. Oh no, please stop, don't do it to me, please. Don't do it to Blue, I don't want to be a cop. A wonderful content that kids could enjoy on that channel. And of course, I mean, none of this is bad for us adults, because we can easily distinguish from what is real and what isn't. And despite listening to realistic sounds of begging for mercy, I can't get out, I can't get out of here. We, we know that this is not real, but the kids, they kind of struggle with that in general. And seeing videos like that, it does have a really negative impact on their mental health. In fact, in those videos, there were many comments left by kids being really worried about their favorite character and asking them to stop. Or other kids saying that they want to do that as well, as in torture plushy toys, which is kind of worrying. And it is really important to understand that the main audience for this is kids both in terms of who it was designed for and who actually watched it. Under any video, you can easily go into the comments and actually see who engages with those videos. And the vast majority of those were kids. I mean, it's not exactly difficult to look at this face and think, well, you probably shouldn't be watching that. Now, to be absolutely clear, these videos, they weren't on YouTube Kids, and the creator did have this in the About section of their channel. Plush Universe and all of its videos are not directed to children, and are created with PG-13 plus elements. But that didn't really stop the creator from seeing kids like this one, and to actually engage with them, to ask them to watch more and to subscribe, 
instead of just telling them to leave the channel and to watch something more appropriate. In the end, it comes down to this. If you create a wonderful mousetrap with a beautiful massive piece of cheese in the middle, you can't just put a sign saying it's a bear trap and just call it a day. It's still clearly a mousetrap. And the pure fact that these videos look like this. A, B, C, D, E, F. And this. Is enough to know that this was intended for children. And under my original video, you actually talked a lot about the damaging effect that this kind of content had on you or the children in your family, which was actually quite heartbreaking to read. Because this overstimulating content that is showing a lot of mature themes is really damaging to children. And this is a big channel we're talking about, with over 2 million subscribers, mostly coming from YouTube Shorts. And we know who that's designed for. And many other YouTubers have also done a video on Plush Universe, like Soggy Serio, The Beak, Achito, and many, many others. All talking from the same perspective, that plushy toys on cocaine reacting to stolen content isn't great. In general, there was a lot of commentary of this channel, all very negative, understandably, of course. But I was curious. I really wanted to understand where the creator is coming from and what he thinks about all of this stuff. And to give him an opportunity to be part of this discussion. So I wrote him a message that said this. Hey, I've seen you try to contact me via Instagram message, which he did. I'm assuming in regards to my video. This is a good opportunity as I wanted to get in contact with you as well. I have made many points in my video, but haven't given you an opportunity to defend your content. If you would be open for this, I would love to interview you in the near future in regards to your content. Talk about some of the arguments I made in my video and ask some questions from my audience. I am not here to attack you as an individual and would like to understand how you see the content you make and the arguments I made, as well as any other information you might want to add. You can present yourself in any way you see fit. What do you think? Alfie. And that was genuine. I did want to understand more about his channel, to give him an opportunity to say his piece, with hope that it's not as malicious as it all seemed. But sadly, he didn't take that opportunity. But I wasn't the only one who tried to understand more. In fact, Soggy Serial has also tried contacting him. He created a fake email and inquired about a potential promotion of kids' toys, where he specified many times that he's looking to advertise to children. And uh, he did take that bait. In his reply, he wanted to know more about this toy. But at no point did he refuse to advertise to children. To be fair, he didn't specifically say that he's willing to do it, but he never said that he's not willing to do it either. And I think Soggy's email kind of heavily suggested that. If you want to know more, go watch Soggy's video. But we do have some other very interesting context. The clips poster claims to know the creator and apparently speaks to him from time to time on Discord. So, who is the Plush Universe? Allegedly. What the clips poster tells us, and many other people seem to have a similar idea, is that this is a young man, not even a 20 years old, who has a goofy and a bombastic personality with perfect streamer voice. He was mellowed out and normal, but a bit sour when criticized. And apparently, he was making Fortnite videos and streams back in the day. Allegedly, he knows a lot about YouTube game and actually had a lot of failed ventures, with this one, the Plush Universe, being the one that worked really well. But critically, he very much doubts that the creator had any malicious intent and that the methods used here are simply because they work. Of course, I can't really know if any of this is true, but I think it's very clear that this person has a very bombastic personality. Otherwise, there is no way he'd be making videos with this amount of energy. What is that? Oh my gosh, Manny Blue, you're huge! And he definitely knows a lot about YouTube. I mean, having 2 million subscribers and using a lot of tactics that are awful, but they work, is kind of a proof in itself. But putting all of that aside, his intentions... I can't be certain of. I never had the opportunity to speak to him, but I have heard rumors that he was hoping to change, hoping to create different, better content than what I've shown here so far. And it seems that there was some truth to it. And it all started with this message. Eight months ago, the creator posted this on their community tab. I will now be making plush story videos and unboxing videos and shorts only. I have always wanted to make these kind of videos since the beginning and so excited to announce this to you. No more compilations videos for a while. Basically, all videos you see from now on will be content and entertainment and production focused. As well as each story video, I will try my best to have something for everyone to enjoy and appreciate. This right now is a one-man team, so please be patient with me. See you there. 
Plush Universe. And since that time, Plush Universe has stuck to their word, making story-driven unboxing videos of plush and other characters. Today I opened the biggest Rainbow Friends mystery box to try to find the 10 new minifigures. If we find them all, then we unlock the legendary mystery box. Let the challenge begin! Jesus Christ. Now, these videos very clearly inspired by Mr. Beast with a light sprinkle of cocaine are actually genuinely much better. I mean, yes, this content will still very much melt your kid's brain with overstimulation, but it's no longer malicious. It's no longer evil. Nowhere in sight was any manipulation of the audience or sexually suggestive content or any suggestions of torture of any kind. His new strategy is effectively what he said it would be to make a story-driven content with a lot of positivity, doing giveaways and focusing on long-form content, which is great to see. And their thumbnails, they're widely different as well. I mean, just look at those. He has even gotten as far as deleting a lot of his older videos to fit this new style. He has actually removed over 25 videos with a combined view count of over 6 million, which is quite wild. It seems that he has actually rebranded his channel to kids' content that isn't damaging to those kids anymore. Of course, when I say isn't damaging, I mean it with an asterisk. I mean, this overstimulating sludge is still very damaging to kids, but it's no longer malicious. But it's not all rosy. I mean, he has left the 20 ways to kill Rainbow Friends video on his channel and a lot of the awful, awful shorts, despite focusing more on the actual kids. Nevertheless, it's a wonderful change to see. But before you go, there's one more very critical thing to discuss. On my original Plus Universe video, I have asked you guys to give me your absolute best dad jokes. And as I am true to my word, I am going to read them. The only thing dry about my jokes are the tears from the audience. God, that was awful. Why didn't he even write this? I don't know. I read a book about gravity once. It was hard to put down. <laughs> Villain. Mwahaha! I caught you and now I will... The pipe bomb in my pocket. What? How is a fat fly named? A butterfly. That is awful. That is so dumb. I love it. Why should you always knock on a refrigerated door before opening it? In case there is a salad dressing. Why did the chicken cross the road? It didn't. <laughs> what? So, my friend told me he was going to be rich from his job. And I said, yeah, you can be rich from your job, but can I be Dave from your job? Wow. I just saw a fight happen in a cardboard factory. It was a really good boxing match. Nice. I read the paper about alkali metals. I react furiously. <laughs> Beautiful. And that's all of the amazing dry jokes I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch this one as well. I'm really sure that you're gonna enjoy it. Peace out.